Hey, Richard Marks, back with you guys again, and uh, I think it's time for another look at one of my old videos. Last, uh, the last one we did was really fun, so uh, let's do it again. And I don't know what this is yet. This is going to be a surprise, but uh, I'm going to watch this old video and see what memories it sparks. Here we go. Oh, I know what this one is. So this was my first concert video, 1987. Although this probably came out in 88 because it was the last single. Hold On To The Nights nice was the last single of the first album. And my first number one single. Wow, the hair, just wow. It looks like a dead squirrel on my head. Keeping it simple with the black t-shirt and the jeans. No wrinkles whatsoever on my face. I was 24 in this video. 24 years old in this video. As I recall, we shot this at uh, the Hollywood Palace in Hollywood, California. And it was part of an MTV special, a long form, full concert that MTV shot with me and my band. And we pulled the uh, footage from the whole lot of the nights out to make the video when this song became a single. What you're seeing also is a lot of still photos from that whole tour. So I, I can even remember some of these pictures are from like gigs in Portland or Seattle or I think I did uh, about 250 shows the first tour in one year. This whole uh, concert that we took, that we pulled this footage from, hold on to the nights from, oh, there's my band guys, I'll tell you about them in a minute. This whole long form video was directed by a great filmmaker named Dominic Senna. And Dominic directed my first two videos, Don't Mean Nothing and Should've Known Better. Um, he was also a great filmmaker. He, did the, he directed this killer movie called California with a K with Brad Pitt. Really, really great movie. He's a really talented guy. That first tour was such a blur. Sometimes I would do two shows or three shows in one day. I was just going for it. It was my first album. I wanted it to be a success. I just, I didn't say no to anything. There's me and my band. Oh, there's, oh, yeah, 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 right. Okay, so let me go back here. This is really, this picture, yeah, I wanted to put this picture in to the, to the video. So this is a, a really amazing girl named Gabrielle DiMartino. And I became aware of her through her mom, who's in the picture, and her little brother, and her dad. Um, she was um, at the NYU Medical Center and she was a big fan of mine and she was battling um, bone cancer. And she'd had it for a while and the prognosis was not good. And I think her family just wanted to see if I would send an autograph picture or something. But I was coming to New York to play. So I said, well, if it's okay, I'd love to come visit her in the hospital. And so we went and uh, I spent some time with her. That's one of the her doctors there in, in the room with us. And I presented her with, uh, my album had gone gold, so I got her a gold album. And she was just so, I was kind of dreading it a little bit, you know, because it, the, the situation was so sad and dire. But when I walked into her room, she was just so full of happiness and smiles, and she was so amazing. 
And we struck up a friendship and we would talk on the phone. I, I did get to visit with her a couple more times. She lived about another year, um, which was a year longer than they told me she was going to live when I met her. And I've never forgotten her. She was just one of the most inspiring people I ever met. Gabrielle DiMartino. A lot of these photographs were taken by uh, a pretty famous rock photographer named Neil Preston, who used to shoot for Rolling Stone. I think he shot everybody, a lot of Springsteen stuff. And I was a fan of his work, and he came out on the road and hung out with me and my band and just took picture after picture, and we used it in this video. Paul Warren playing guitar. He was in my band for about seven years. Incredible musician. Dave Koz, up there on the keyboards, who was actually playing sax in my band on my first tour. He became quite successful on his own. John Walmsley on guitar, Jim Cliff on bass, Mike DeRosier on drums. We were a tight little band. We worked our asses off, but we had a lot of fun. And I had lunch with Dave Koz about six months ago. Sometimes I would dread that high note every night. <laughs> do, I, do I have it tonight? Is it gonna be there tonight? All I can say is hair. Me, my band, the audience, it was 1988, was a year of really, really bad hair. Perfect.